So after two and a half months of having the Evo off the road, it's finally back together and let's check out the results. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So as you can see today, I've got a, I've got about half of an Evo 10 here, missing quite a few parts. Um, the bumper at the front is completely stripped. This is basically the bumper skin is on there at the moment. So we're missing everything there. Um, and also the front lip, the, the front splitter, and then the side skirt extensions or side splitters. That was all part of the Project Aero kit. But then we're also missing the entire rear bumper. Um, I'm right up against the garage door here, so you can't really tell, but the entire rear bumper and the trunk or boot. So I have a carbon fiber um, duck lip CSL style normally on there. So if you guys didn't see my video where I revealed the new wheels a while ago, also showed that I had some damage to the rear bumper that I'd done months ago. It wasn't that bad, um, but I'll throw some shots up of how that looked. So I needed to get the rear bumper repaired, repainted, as well as the rear spat. Um, so that's inspired me to go ahead and sort of redo a lot of parts. So I've always wanted to do, if you've been watching videos for a while, you'd have heard me say many times, I wanted to get the rear carbon fiber trunk painted phantom black. So that's getting done. The rear bumper is getting repaired and resprayed. I also gouged the diffuser um, on the rear of the car. So that inspired me to just go ahead and do something I've wanted to do a long time, which is all plastics in gloss black. So I haven't got the diffuser back yet, but I've got all these parts here and I decided rather than waiting for everything and putting it all back together in one day, which is the plan originally, I thought I just want to get this sort of back together somewhat what I have, which is mainly just the front bumper stuff other than the front lip, which I cracked underneath so it's getting repaired too. But so yeah, um, I had this piece painted gloss black for about, I don't know, five years now. Um, I did a badge delete on it and I had it painted gloss black and I, it was kind of like a test because I always had this idea in my back of my head that all the plastics in gloss black would look really cool, like instead of the matte plasticky look, I just thought being that the car's black already, I thought it would work really well. So yeah, decided since there was, the diffuser was basically damaged, so it's gouged into, so there's no really repairing the plastic. I mean, maybe there is, I don't know, without painting it. So I thought, I'll just get the whole thing painted gloss black and then I'll get all the other plastics done at the same time. So yeah, basically what we've got today to put together is the entire front bumper part of it, other than the front lip. So yeah, I've even gone to the extent of painting the um, intercooler air guides that you don't even, that you see them, but a lot of people remove these as well so you see the intercooler piping better. I just, I like the look of them, I think that looks better, cleaner with them on. So yeah, I've painted those gloss black, even though the mesh is going to be in front of them. I think anything that you would see in the front bumper behind mesh still being gloss black will really help to sort of make it all flow. Um, we've got the fog light delete kit as well. You only see a tiny bit of plastic on this, basically just this inside corner section. But I thought, get those done gloss black. Uh, I even got the rear trunk or boot release button and the quick release for the front bumper redone. I uh, already got one of those back on. Um, and then the side vents for the front guards. So I've had those done in gloss black. I'll just grab my old carbon one. So this is what I was running for probably six years now. Um, I bought them used. They weren't even in good condition then. And you can see the, the yellowing. So they weren't great. This probably is even the better one to be honest, but the other one's got like a big gouge at the top. Like it's been dropped at some point. It kind of let the overall car down. I'd, you know, make things look nice and clean on the car. And then you'd see this. So yeah, the plan was to get a new set, run them like this with no vents, but yeah, I just don't like how you can see so much in there that's not finished. It kind of looks like, I don't know. I like it, but I think I'm gonna go back with the original ones, but painted gloss black. So yeah, really happy how they turned out. I know that on the MRs, they come color matched. So Phantom Black I could have had done, it would have suited, but I just thought a flow of the gloss black together would be good. Um, even got this little piece of here done, which <laughs> you don't really see much of this, but this sits behind the front bumper behind the mesh. I just thought you can see this a little bit. So I thought just being gloss black will sort of work. And then the splitter kit. Uh, if you guys haven't seen, I did the, the full Project Aero splitter kit. They developed it on my car. It's now for sale, so definitely check that out if you can. But this is the rear spats. The plan was always paint that splitter kit gloss black. So these are back. Um, the front lip, 
or front splitter has been done, but the paint was a bit too soft for me to pick up. It may have got damaged, I couldn't really wrap it up. And then the side skirts, I couldn't pick up either. But yeah, they're all done in gloss black now. The diffuse is getting done next, and then next week the front lip, front bump, uh, rear bumper, and the boot are all getting painted too. So yeah, that's where we're at. I did film a video sort of showing all this before I stripped the car, but I've accidentally deleted that footage. So it is what it is. So today I thought, let's get this all back together. We can see how the front bumper is going to look with all the gloss black. And then, yeah, at least the front end, besides the front lip, will be all done. Um, also, I did paint my inner cooler black while the car's been off the road. Okay, so front bumper is off. And just a better look at the inner cooler that I painted. So I did it gloss black. May have been a mistake, probably should have done it matte black, but I thought, I don't know, it'll get some light reflecting off it. Maybe that'll look good, maybe it won't, but yeah. So, I just pulled the bumper off and I just placed this garnish surround piece on. So, I don't want it to fall over. But yeah, you can see that is going to look really good. Against the phantom black, you can tell it's not the same, so you can tell it's just like a gloss black finish. And my FQ400 vent, um, this piece, surround, is gloss black. Inside is phantom black. So it kind of works in the same way. Um, I don't know, I think it'll work. Probably should have had this repainted as well. It's only this inside little spacer bracket that's chipping. Um, but yeah, so I thought, first thing, before I start putting the, like, 100 screws that had involved putting all this back together, I thought let's do the easiest task first, which is the side vents. So these, they do have double-sided tape on them. Yes, I could reuse, like I could peel it off and redo it, but they got a lot of clips on them. I think I can just clip them on and they should be firm, but we'll find out. So um, let's just give it a try. So, let's get the height of where it sits. I think that's right. No, it seems too high. Okay, maybe that's right. Oh, yeah, there we go. Easy. And I've got a scratch. You could never see a few bigger ones, but now you can. So that kind of sucks, so try and sort that a little bit of touch up paint but yeah so that's the first step so i think that looks really good you can clearly tell the difference between phantom black and the gloss black and i don't know i think it'll just break things up a bit so i have like the carbon mirrors up here the gloss black there and i feel like you know the gloss black on the um the weather shields i'm thinking i'm going to remove these uh, and either just get a gloss black wrap or peel the original um, vinyl that's on there because underneath these it's painted factory color so it's either peel this off and wrap it with gloss black or peel both layers off and have it as phantom black I think gloss black maybe but we'll find out so yeah that's the that's the easy step done um, now Time for 500 screws. All right, guys, as you can see, it is all back together. Wish I had the front lip because oh, I'd love to see this all complete, but the gloss black looks so good in my mind. Like, I love that I did the, the piece inside here, as in this piece here, because you definitely see that. So that, you can see, yeah, it, it all sort of flows together. I also repainted the mesh as well um, because it's about you. I try and do the mesh like every year, basically. But yeah, the um, inner cooler air guides as well. I feel like they came out really nice. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, guys, it's about a week later. And as you can see, I now have all of the parts back. So yeah, previously we put the bump together like you guys saw except for the front lip and the front splitter. So now we've got those both back, we can do that. Um, I did off camera during the week, picked up the side splitters, which I've put on the car and 
gloss black as you can see look so much better um that's that was like an indication of how good this gloss black lower section of the car is going to look i'm stoked on that so i basically just pulled the side skirts off bolted them to it um, and then put the side skirts back on so if you want to see how to do the side skirt removal um, i did a video on that previously so you can check that out um, but yeah i didn't film any of that um, but yeah as you can see we've got the gloss black rear spats or the rear aero spats the project aero kit and the aero front lip and the project aero front splitter so if all those are ready to go we've got the rear bumper back as well with as promised the gloss black diffuser really hard to show i'll try and mainly show you that once it's back on the car um, but yeah all repaired where it was gouged into and there's something different about this rear bumper also so you guys i've been showing people with like friends with evo 10s going can you notice what's different and i'll make it easy for you guys there's no reflectors so this is the painter's idea uh, he decided to do a reflector delete so it just cleans up that bumper so much more normally these would be there they'd be like sort of a a hole for them and they'd be bolted in so now nothing just a smooth rear bumper all the way with the gloss diffuser so i'm stoked with it that was the the painter's idea and um yeah he just sort of said do you want me to do that that's something i think i should do it's gonna look good so i was all keen for it um and then the last thing is the carbon csl style trunk or boot whatever you want to call it and we just put this back on the car last night we picked all the parts up last night and there was basically nowhere i could sit this safely because we had the two cars in the garage nowhere i could put this we had the bumper sitting on the ground here behind the car so we just chuck this back on by just putting the two bolts either side so that's on and other than all like the wiring and everything done but if you didn't notice it's now color match the whole thing was carbon fiber but i didn't mention this in the video but i did have this idea when i dropped it off the painter that we could leave or he could i shouldn't say we he's the one who did the work um but yeah leave this line here the top of the duck bill carbon so I mean, it's hard to sort of show, but the rest of it's black all the way up to there, and then the back of it, and the bottom of it, all the way up until the top. So when you're standing back, you kind of don't even really notice it. So I'm stoked with how that turned out. He sort of wasn't sure if he was going to do it. He's like, oh, it's a bit more work, and I don't know, but got it done, and there's a lot of clear on top of this, so this should you know, stay protected for a fair while. Um, so yeah, I'm stoked with how this has all come out. So basically today the goal is to just get this car back together it's a rainy day so may not take it out too much but oh it's been months since i've driven this thing so i'm so keen so since i've already got the this on the first thing i'm gonna do is just feed all these wires back up through get the tail lights on put the lining on the latch everything i'm gonna get this whole boot together and then i think i'll move on to the rear bumper it's not gonna really film too much of the process because I've shown all these things individually before, such as when I put this carbon one on the first time, I showed it. We've done the bumper removal and the rear diffuser. We've already shown that. So I've done front lip, everything. So I'm not really going to film the process. I'm just going to more show you guys how it all looks. And yeah, I'm, I'm just keen to get this back together. So I've got a few hours today to get this done. So I'm going to put the camera down and just get right into it. So after two and a half months of having the Evo off the road, it's finally back together. And let's check out the results. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since that last clip the car is fully back together it's not raining so i could finally bring the car out and show you guys the results so i did have one more thing that i was saying that i needed to reveal still and let's just before we have a close look at everything else let's check it out so if you guys can't tell i have new number plates for the car so in australia at least having personalized plates is a pretty big thing because we have to run front plates here so yeah i've always had the 
grips plates, it was like six rips plates on the car. Um, and I've suspended a little bit extra. I've got the full proper acrylic all letters plates. So now the car is dialed. So plates I have had for over a year now. I've just been waiting to put on the car. Um, and I plan on getting these plates for a few years. I just want to get the car a bit more dialed in. So yeah, I'm pretty stoked with how good they look. But let's also just go over everything else as well. So yeah, now the front end, as you can see, it's like brand new. Front lip repainted and previously before I had this project aero splitter, underneath the front lip there was cracked and this front lip was silver originally. So the little piece would look kind of fall down. You could see this bit of silver, like cracked hanging down and I'd push it back up, take photos, but it would just keep falling. So yeah, I got that repaired underneath and then the front lip had a fair few chips in it. So it was repainted. Obviously the project aero repainted, gloss black, and it doesn't come through as much in like photos and stuff, but the gloss black pieces in person, like the light reflects off them, you can really tell they're gloss black. So yeah, obviously this trim garnish piece, the front with the badge delete, the inside, the other side of the mesh there, as well as the air guides for the inner cooler and the inner cooler done in gloss black. So the front end now, I think, looks just super tough, mean, blacked out. So yeah, I'm stoked with that. Coming around to the side, as you guys saw, I put the OEM side vents back on, but they are painted gloss black and I actually really like that look. It sort of ties all together. So we've got the gloss black at the front. Even if you're standing at the side, you can see the gloss black on the front splitter, on the side splitter, and then that little piece there. So yeah, the, the side splitter's in gloss black as well, which you guys already saw. It's mainly the front end, I guess, that hasn't been shown. So. Yeah, this is now done. Now the rear bumper, you can probably see a fair bit of haze and stuff in it. I need to polish this. Um, so it's not looking as good as it, what it will, um, but it's together. So just look at that. It's like, oh, the lighting probably won't really work. Tried to come later in the day. It's maybe a bit too late. Ends up being a pretty cloudy overcast day. But so like the back, we've got the the boot or trunk button in gloss black. We've got the gloss black diffuser as well as the new number plates at the back, which I think on the back end really works because they're like gloss black as well. And then you've got the gloss black diffuser. I just absolutely love that. So yeah, I'm stoked with that. So the, yeah, pretty sure I'll put a clip in, but if not, reverse into my letterbox here, damaged the rear bumper here, the diffuser, the rear spat and the project aero so all of those were re repaired that's why i had to go basically gloss black i do have a spare diffuser but i always had this idea of gloss black diffuser so that's why we've done that um, and then yeah the rear aero pods or spats whatever you want to call them and the project aero add-ons all repainted and then for the boot obviously this whole thing was carbon now the only thing carbon left to even show what it used to be is this little strip here which looks super cool, like you can't really tell. And then you would sort of like, you'd, you know, as you're walking towards the car, you'd sort of notice, and it just sort of stands out because it sticks up. But yeah, the rest of it color match in phantom black. So yeah, that's the car. I do need to redo this rear spat here because I stuffed up the double sided tape in the corner, so it's sort of popping out. So I'll redo that. But yeah, as you can see, it's like a whole new car. It looks so good. I'm finally happy with the exterior and that's why I was finally, felt like I was justified to put my new number plates on dialed because I feel like the power and engine bay has been dialed for quite a while. I've been happy with all that. Sort of like dialed into my tastes. And then now the exterior sort of was previously until I did the damage to the rear, but I was like, I can't put those plates on until I fix that. And then in fixing that, it sort of dialed in a little bit more. We finally painted the, the rear trunk or boot carbon and we like, from carbon to color match. So I just think it looks a little bit neater. And then yeah, finally all the gloss black, which yeah, that if of all the stuff that got done, the biggest difference that's sort of making me really enjoy looking at the car now and how it's changed is that gloss black rear diffuser, especially how good the plates look with it. So yeah, I am stoked. Finally driving the car again, put it together and it was raining. So did a little drive just because I was so keen to drive it. Got it completely filthy, had to rewash it. So now, yeah, I'm 
It's a long weekend. I'm looking to enjoy it this weekend. So I'll just do a little walk around so you guys can see. But yeah, in photos, I've already tried to take some photos, the gloss black accents don't really, you can't really tell that it's, that it's black. But in person, I'm telling you, like I can see right now the reflections off all this gloss at the front. I don't know where I'm pointing. Everything that's gloss, like in person, you can tell it's gloss black and it looks so mean. But yeah, on camera, it's probably not really showing. It would look not much different at all. But yeah, the plates, love that. This car's got its new identity. Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked for that. I'm gonna, happy to say exterior is like 99% finish. Can't say 100, but like 99%, it is just perfect to what I want. Nice and subtle, aggressive. Yeah, I'm loving it. So yeah, that's gonna be the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's, I did film the first clip when I was stripping everything, like the start of January. I did actually delete that clip, so we don't have that. But yeah, this video has been months in the making. The parts took a while to get painted due to weather and some other stuff coming up. But yeah, it's finally all back together and I'm stoked. This car's been sitting in the garage with no front bumper, no rear bumper, no trunk, just a shell that I couldn't really reverse outside if it was raining. So to have it back is, yeah, I'm stoked. So let me know what you guys think of the new look. And yeah, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already because now that we're back, I do have a few videos planned for this car. It's actually been 10 years now that I've owned this, so I've got a special video coming out for that. But yeah, I'm gonna end it there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video.